out yesterday. And there's a bee in my tractor. I missed the camera, hit the bee. Where'd he go? Okay, he flew away. I missed. He's not dead, but I stir him up.
And then also I had the Greece inside from the Arthur, oh, yeah, Arthur and stuff, so it's slowly by myself here, but that's similar to the Anyhow, Guys, it's cold. I got a coat on and a sweater on. It's only 40 degrees, but it's windy, and I like summer. And I, I can get used to the warm weather or hot weather pretty fast, but it takes me forever to get used to the cold weather. But I think, well, the rest of this field won't quite go on this wagon. I think it might go on all go on this wagon yet. Um, and then I'm done with this field. It is three o'clock now. I got four loads in. It's a really slow process when you're by yourself. Chop two loads, unload two loads. Chop two loads, unload two loads. And that corn head don't help me any, but yeah. Um, I do not like whoever planted these fields because they uh, planted the corn just to get it in the ground. They weren't thinking of, about the person who has to chop it. And it is quite the pain in the butt to try and chop this field as of to why I'm driving all the way to the back just to start. Because all the rows on this side are messed up because someone must have driven back and forth instead of in, around the field. Because harvester, you have to go around the field. You can't go just straight back and forth. And yeah. Back there's a mud hole. That's why we don't plant it. Actually, the ground's really soft right where I'm turning around over there. Well, I won't be driving in it anymore. But it's really soft right over there where those weeds get taller. Okay. Okay, that's all for this video because both my batteries are about dead. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Have a nice day.